Good morning and welcome to today's morning report on Tuesday the 22nd of September with me, Richard Perry Market and Lester Handset Markets. Well, the uh, selling pressure has really started to come back again. Um, overnight we had a decent close actually on Wall Street, about half a percent up on S&P 500, fairly stable in Asia, but as the Europeans have come in, they've really started to sell this market. Um, it wasn't actually meant to be this way, but certainly the... Um, the uh, safe haven trades are beginning to benefit again. You're seeing some support for the yen, buns, and also gold prices also supported today. Um, and uh, equity markets are under significant pressure. We're seeing the FTSE down 1.4%, DAX down 1.1%. It seems to be also that the oil price is having a, a fairly sizable impact on the markets. Let me just show you the, uh, first of all, the dollar, which... Um, it's just been flying around all over the place since that Fed meeting, isn't it? Um, big, sharp get rebound in the last couple of days and um, fairly stable today, but uh, certainly the oil price um, back lower again. Again, another um, another instrument that's flying around, um, not really showing any real direction, but uh, just rather volatile in a consolidation. But um, we are seeing uh, Treasury yields lower which is, uh, suggests a flight to safety, uh, certainly on the 10-year anyway. And uh, certainly that is impacting across markets today. Um, in terms of, um, as I said, Forex, you've got uh, the dollar, which is basically now sort of strengthening again. Um, we're seeing the cable is on, a, on the brink of a breakdown near term, and I'll talk about that in the chart outlook. Euro certainly looks to have broken back lower near term and pressuring supports again. And uh, interestingly enough, though, the uh, commodity currencies are sort of supported today. No massive selling pressure on those yet, despite the fact that we're seeing the oil price um, sharply lower. Um, so uh, that is an interesting development, I think. But at the moment, um, the fact that the euro is um, being sold off is uh, an interesting factor as well. That's not giving... Um, even that is not giving DAX any real support, but uh, market sentiment is pretty negative with all these safe haven flows and um, negative on equities. Now, in terms of what we've got to look forward to today, there's no real tier one data out there. You've got the um, Eurozone consumer confidence at three o'clock might have a bit of an impact, but it doesn't. it's not a major um, bit of data that we look out for. Um, seven uh, sorry, negative 7.0 is the expectation there. Um, obviously, this consumer confidence has been improving over the um, across the period of the last two years, but um, last few months it's been drifting lower again. Um, maybe that wouldn't necessarily provide too much support, but uh, that's at three o'clock today. But people, um, so traders are broadly speaking probably looking now towards China again tomorrow, and maybe that is um, sort of weighing on their minds because you've got the flash PMI data. Uh, overnight tonight. So uh, that takes me to my chart of the day, which is silver. Now, I've talked about silver being a bit of a, um, a lead potentially for gold, and we've had this rally in silver over the past few days. Let me show you on the daily chart. Big, sh big sharp rally in the last um, three or four days, but that certainly is beginning to now roll over. We had a break above the 15 big figure, um, 15 bucks mark, which was a bit of a pivot level actually. And that sort of reopened the uh, key resistance at 1550, which is that old big floor, um, which provided uh, the support previously through uh, first half of this year and is now providing the resistance. But it seems as though that this rally we've already got is beginning to fall over. Look at these momentum indicators, RSI back at 60, about the same point at which in August it fell over. Stochastics crossing lower, giving us a sell signal. The uh, MACD lines just unwound back to neutral and look uh, again as though this is just another chance to sell. So this, uh, these two strong candles have now given away to a rather weak looking bullish candle and then a bit of a doji pattern which is um, just denotes uncertainty with the prevailing trend. Um, and today what we're seeing is a bit of negativity, not too much yet, but certainly um, this consolidation is um, just beginning to see these momentum indicators, certainly on the hourly chart, drifting lower negative divergences across the MACD lines, RSI and stochastics on this hourly chart. And um, you can see that the, the, the upside momentum in this rally has certainly been lost now. And I think a, a test of that $15 big figure level could easily be seen today. Um, and if there were to be a, a decisive breakdown, um, you would 
open that 1475 low initially but uh, certainly considering the fact that you've he'd still be looking at silver being a sell into strength we've had that strength now we're seeing this move rolling over it could well be an opportunity to sell for further downside probably back towards the lows again 1424 and uh, possibly even 1393 so it looks as though this rally on silver has rolled over i've been looking out for the rally on gold to also roll over but i'll talk about that in my gold chart analysis in a bit but um for the time being silver is beginning to um beginning to turn lower again. So I wish you good luck in your tra trading today and I will speak to you later.